Hi everyone, welcome to the JavaScript 30 days of lead code challenge. Today we are with the problem number 2694. We are with the problem named event emitter. So we need to create an event emitter which is like custom our own event emitters. Let's see what are event emitters and let's see what they are asking it for. Design a class event emitter class and this interface is similar but with some differences that is born found in node.js we have an event emitters we even target an event emitters uh, similar in uh, node.js also where you will uh, take it in a particular event emitter and whenever the event uh, got emitted the ones who callback functions whatever got subscribed those results will come here uh, anyway we'll discuss it here and the event emitter should allow for subscribing to events and emitting them that that's what like for example see you have an event like click you will write it like something like add event listener click and do something so what will happen the moment someone did the action of clicking it is emitting a particular callback function and whatever the callback function do it will run only once someone clicked on them right so there is one event this event will create an event emitter and this event emitter will call some functions or some callback functions the moment the event emitter got emitted emitted that means triggered this callback functions whatever you got emitted they will come you know they will just execute it that is what basically they are subscribe they are saying it like uh, the subscribe will take two arguments in the name of an event and a callback function this callback function will be called whenever the event is emitted so every subscribe now for example see here subscription have some kind of two things one is event name one is callback if the event name got triggered somewhere you write it like event name dot emit then automatically this subscribed one whatever they are writing if, if the subscribed one returning x then that x will be returned simple okay so every event will have two things the functions which got subscribed and the emit function which is like emitting also will take two things which is like the arguments whenever uh, emitting it and the event name which it emits so now let's try it here how do you solve now the biggest problem here is we need to write it for an event one and uh, we need to store that values like whatever the values you are getting it in a callback function we need to store and return them to do this i am going to use a data structure called set we can also do it with something called maps but to make it in a complexity something small i am using something called sets sets are similar to arrays but it will accept only the unique values okay so instead of using some kind of push pop in the arrays we use add delete and uh, uh, in case of you take it a set you for example an array have two three four five and again if you push it like five it will have two three four five five but if you set it will take only two three four five that's it it will never take a duplicated values so that is the reason we are also trying to take some kind of set here let's take it here a basic set let's name it as event set which is equal to initially empty one now the moment here this is in a this is a new set kind of okay so the moment i come here i will just take it as a new one but i didn't assign any value here i just take it as an empty one because i don't want to go with the constructor if you if you want to go with the constructor also in constructor you can give the initial value as empty now initial value even though it empty the moment if someone subscribes it here it will take it the event name let's call it the event name as event and the callback function as something uh, callback function cb and inside this first i will check it like is this event whatever this dot event set whatever the event set has any properties or not if this event set has any property or not has own property if it is not having it 
imagine this whatever we are taking it initially it is not having na so you took mt1 so if it is not having then subscription will be wasted like if, if, if something is so empty that the subscription will not work it upon so before you go to the subscription you have to make it as a new set so i will write it like i will just put one new set initially i just took it an empty object and i'm pushing it into the new set i will write it this dot event set dot uh, uh, event set of event with an index value so the index value is event and the uh, uh, and the key value is event set with the index value of event and the key value of uh, event set i am just defining it here uh, these dot equals to new set so i just defined a new set sir after defining the new set let's just close it so i just uh, if that is the case after this let's check it here event set of event and i am pushing the callback function how do you push in the sets as i told you earlier for arrays you have something called push pop for the uh, sets you have add delete so i am just adding you are just adding with the key value of event and you are adding the callback function so key click and one callback key uh, some kind of uh, double click and then uh, and some uh, function key again click and some function so with the key value of click you can add two functions which is like multiple values can be stored here and in that case uh, uh, because the key values are same but the keys are same but the values are different it will be taken as unique one only now uh, th this is uh, basically uh, the subscribe one and we also have something called unsubscribe unsubscribe means after some particular time if they are trying to remove it so which is nothing but the same logic this dot event set of event dot delete so at one point you are just adding it at one point you are just deleting it which is the callback function so this is basically subscription of a particular callback function but what is most important is emitting now we need to write an emit function if someone try to emit the event what will happen if someone try to emit the event the whatever the callback functions what we write it in subscription they should work and how they will work let's take it a simple result const result which is equals to mt1 and then let's take it here once the empty result is there then this dot event set of event if is there any value in the event dot set okay or if there if, if there is any value imagine if the value is not there imagine that particular click is not there for example i am trying to emit an event uh, i am trying to emit an event click imagine there is no key value in the object with the click so obviously there may be a chance right in that case i am just giving it here uh, an empty one so this is nullish collision operator that means if the first one is undefined it will go to the next one for example if this whole value is undefined then only it will become as empty array if this whole value is not undefined it will never care about whatever you write it after this okay only in the case if the first one is uh, some kind of undefined it will go to the next one so go here and now i have all the values i will just check it up on each and every value and i will calculate it uh, whatever the values i got it i will just return it so how do you return this for each let's take it each one whatever i'm getting it take it as c and the c ones i'm just pushing it into the array return dot push and c value and that c cali c value is not like direct value right that c value should call with this arcs that key c value should call with this arcs and then it will repeat again and again and again it's like 
one callback function is there so you are triggering the callback function but what if this callback function takes one arguments that arguments were also given there so i just called with the arguments and ultimately the answer will be stored in the result which will be uh, whatever the result is there which will be returned sir return result let's just check it how it works here result dot push which is like c which will take it yeah two dots it has to be three dots to pass it to the rest para spread parameters kind of one good here it has it passed three here and it got it the first one something wrong the values and the output which we got it are similar we got it here as six when we got emitted but the expected were something five comma six so so the expected one is five comma six but we got it something like six let's check it so let's check it on where exactly uh, the one mistake is happening it here if you check it on here uh, the expected output is actually having an emitted value of 5 comma 6 but it is returning only one value which is 6 so the reason which is happening it here is uh, the problem is here with the uh, checking an event like if there is ha not having any kind of own property and i am trying to set it as a new set but what if it is already having in a property imagine it is already having it in a property like six then it should stop it right it should go for the only adding one it should not go into this again and creating a new set which is happening here initially when the five is there it is creating a new set and when the six came again instead of adding the six to the five it is actually creating a new set the reason happening it here because i created for event set but i already have the event now so i should pass the event here this dot event set dot has own property and if i check it based on that event based on that event here see based on the event emitted if i have already five then add six to that but i did not check it based on that so if i run this now yeah now it got accepted with the complete one so you can check it up on this this one is high level very important and when you are going for node.js or kind of things uh, or any other frameworks also uh, this one will have an, a good importance where you want to uh, um, put your events to multiple listeners this one will actually plays a key role yeah that's it for today thank you all and in case if you have any more doubts you can let me know thank you